Lucid Stage is presenting an adaptation of Thomas Hardy's classic novel, Tess of the D'Urbervilles. Beginning on September 13th, Tom spoke with April Singley, Artistic Director of Dead Wessex Fair, a new theater company in Portland, about the upcoming production. April, thanks for joining us to talk about the uh, test of, uh, or Dumberville, right? Durbervilles. 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 Test of the Durbervilles, yes. It's been a lo long time since <laughs> high school. But um, <laughs> your playgroup that's doing this at Lucid Stage is called Dead Wessex Fair. Right. Uh, where does that name come from? What is the theater group about? Um, well, um, Dead Wessex Fair, the name of Dead Wessex came from um, Thomas Hardy, who wrote Test of the Durbervilles. He had a dog named Wessex, um, and Tessa the Durbervilles takes place in what is now Dorset, England, but he calls it Wessex. Um, when his dog died, he wrote a beautiful poem um, and kind of made some allusions to Tess inside the poem, and the poem is called Dead Wessex. So um, I didn't want to call it a theater because we don't have a theater space. We're more of an ensemble right now. Um, but I was going through the script and found the word fair, and so it just kind of came together, Dead Wessex Fair. Um, so is so Test your premiere show? Is it you're building a theater company around that? It's our first full-length production. Okay. Um, for the Port Fringe Festival, I wrote a play called Eno Bear, um, and that was our first production, um, which was more of a stage reading of the play that I wrote, um, which was awesome. But yes, this is our first costumes, light, sound, full-length, real production. Great. It's really exciting. It's, and, and the people are pretty much familiar with the book, but the play, the script itself, how it got to be a play, can you describe that a little? It sounds kind of interesting. Yeah, um, a brilliant, brilliant actor from Portland Stage that I know, um, Mark Honan, did Tess of the Durbervilles um, in 1987 in Salisbury, England. Um, the way that came up was that we were both talking about our favorite books, and Tess was my favorite book for, what, five years now. Um, and he and I sat down over coffee originally and just kind of talked about how it was done and different ideas and the way you could structure and adapt the novel the novel into the script. So um, that's kind of how that came about. And you just mentioned that it's one of your favorite books. Yes. It is sort of a sad story. What, what uh, prompts you to be drawn to that? <laughs> that's a great question. Um, when I first read this book, um, I was actually traveling from, I was, I'm from Boston, and I was spending a holiday in um, Sweden, and it was kind of my airplane book. And I had no idea at the time reading this um, why I was particularly drawn to this, but um, I think that one of the great things about literature, and especially literature that speaks to the human condition, Tess really speaks to anybody, and maybe it's a female thing, but um, anybody who's had their heart broken before, anyone who's been through lots of trials and um, felt society closing in on them, I think that those are very universal feelings that anyone can relate to, and they're very applicable to today's audience. And uh, have you tested this out with an audience, or have you seen any other production of it done? Um, I haven't seen any other productions of it. Um, I did, maybe about four years ago, rent a BBC version of Tess of the D'Urbervilles. And, but there's just something so magical about the story, no matter what medium, whether it's in the novel, it's in a play, it's, it's in a BBC adaptation, it's just very capturing. I mean, it's an epic. It takes place in a lot of different places, yes. a lot of different characters. How do you consolidate that into a sizable evening theater? Uh, very talented cast, <laughs> I'd have to say, um, and they're brilliant, and a lot of them are playing three or four roles, and they completely change their physicality, um, and they're just so in the scene, and me, who's on stage completely, 100% of the time, I have to be able to rely on them to know where I'm going next, because I don't have a break to go, okay, I'm gonna, I'm here, I gotta go jump over here. I have to be on, and they're just right there with me, and they're just, tremendous in the way that they were able to relay the scene and the story. Uh, and it's really great uh, looking at the space at the black box kind of theater at Lucid Stage to be able to st stage all that and do all that. Sounds, sounds like it's going to be a wonderful production, shouldn't be missed. 
Could you give us some information if people want more information, where it is, when it is, how they can get tickets, that sort of thing? Sure. Um, there is a website, um, and it's just www.deadwessexfair.webs.com. And the number for Lucid Stage is there, show times and tickets information is there as well. Great. Well, thanks a lot for joining us. Thank and you. Sounds like a very interesting production. I hope you have a lot of success with it. Thank you very much. Take care.